Hi, this is a quick walkthrough on how to install firmware onto an Eagle utilizing either SSH or Telnet. Uh, and this is utilizing the ACA, which is effectively a USB flash drive. So what we have here is we have a USB flash drive. Uh, it is currently uh, formatted as FAT. So FAT is a format that um, is easily uh, readable and compatible with the, uh, with the Hirschman switches uh, that have a USB socket on the front. So formatted as FAT, what I've done is I've simply dropped the bin file. This is the firmware bin file for the device. Uh, this particular one is for the Eagle One bin, uh, but it will also work with, uh, with other firmware revs. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to unplug this from my PC, and I'm going to plug this into the, the Eagle. Um, it is powered, and I'm currently connected to it across the network. Uh, I can find this Eagle and confirm its IP address utilizing high discovery, and uh, this Eagle has a 10.10. Uh, one IP address. Uh, my laptop does as well. So my laptop is currently on a 10.10.10.99 IP address. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to either start TerraTerm or PuTTY. Uh, the net is basically the same. Uh, PuTTY is probably a little bit more common. So I'm going to go 10.10.10.1 and I'm going to log in via SSH. And um, it's going to ask me for my security credentials. So I'm going to do admin and I'm going to do private. And I am now logged into the, uh, the Eagle. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do enable. Uh, this is going to give me access to higher privileges. And I'm going to do a copy firmware uh, firmware uh, ACA NV. So copy firmware from the ACA, which is the automa um, automatic configuration adapter, to the NV, which is non volatile memory. Am I sure? Yes. And what it's now going to do is it's now going to pull the firmware off of the ACA, deposit in the non-volatile memory, and once I'm done with this, uh, it w I can then reboot the switch, um, either through a power cycle or through the reboot command. Uh, reboot's going to ask me to confirm. And that is it. So it's a relatively simple process uh, once you have all of the, the necessary instructions. I hope this has been beneficial. If you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out to us for additional help. Thanks. Have a great day.